has a very powerful message. His name is Jehovah Ghana, Jehovah Magi, Jehovah Gadol Shema, Jehovah Orai, Jehovah Eshadai, Jehovah Imukunu, Jehovah Sidkunu, Jehovah Gadol Shema, Jehovah Rohai, Jehovah Eshadai, Jehovah Magi. He is called by so many names, the God of love. That's a powerful message here. For it is written in the book of Numbers, chapter 23, verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie. No, a son of man that should repent from his word. If you have spoken, will you not do it good? If you have said it, will you not accomplish it? It is written, Romans chapter 16, verse 20. And a God of peace will not crush Satan under your feet. It is written, Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. God has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and set us in the, king, in the kingdom of his son, Jesus Christ, whom he loved. It is written in Psalms, chapter 68, verse 1. May God arise and let all his enemies scatter. May all his opponents flee from his presence. It is written in the book of Psalms, chapter 50, verse 15. Call upon me in a day of trouble, and I shall deliver you and you praise me. It is written in Psalms, chapter 107, verse 20. God sent his word to deliver those who are in the grave that they may praise him. It is written in the book of Psalms, chapter 27, 1 to 5. The Lord is the light of my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The stronghold of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? And when wicked men wage war to devour me, those are my enemies, they'll fall and stumble. Even an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Even war breaks around me. Yet I will still be confident. And one thing I've asked for the Lord is to dwell in the house of the Lord. That is what I seek, to gaze at the beauty of the Lord, to seek him in his temple. And in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the second shelter of his tent and set me upon a rock. It is written, the book of Luke chapter 4, verse 18 to 19. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. It has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. To proclaim freedom to prisoners, to give sight to the blind, to set free the oppressed, and to announce the respectable year of God's favor. It is written in the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19. I give you power and authority to trample over snake and scorpion and overcome all the powers of Satan and none will harm you. It is written, Luke chapter 19, verse 10, that the Son of Man came to seek and save the lost. It is written, in the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 3, verse 17. Lord is spirit. Wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there's freedom. It is written, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 to 5. Even though we live in the war, we do not wage wars, war wages. The weapon we use are not of this war. On the contrary, they have divine power in demolishing stronghold. We demolish arguments and any claim that set itself against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought subjected to Christ. It is written, Isaiah 54, verse 17. No weapon form against you will prosper. You shall rebuke every tongue that accuses you. That's the vindication of victory from God to his children and servants. It is written, Isaiah 55, verse 8 to 11. My ways are different from my ways, from your ways. Your thought, my thoughts are different from your thoughts, declares the Lord. As high as the heaven above the earth, that's how my ways and my thoughts are different from your ways. As the snow and rain falls to the ground, I never return to it unless it waters the earth. To make it bud and flourish and give seed to the planter and bread to the eater. It's the same when my words are coming out of my mouth. It never did turn empty. It came to accomplish and achieve what it came to do. Brothers and sisters, it is written in God's word in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 29. I know my words like fire, the hammer that breaks the rock. It is written, Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 14. These people have spoken this word. So I will make my words in you like fire. They will be the wood they consume. It is written in John chapter 8 verse 36. If the Son sets you free, you are free indeed. First John chapter 3 verse 18 is written. Anyone that sin is of the devil, for he was a sinner from the beginning, a murderer. But this reason the Son of Man manifested to destroy the works of the enemy. My brothers and sisters, we are living in the world today. God spoke to me. God spoke to me this morning, and he said that the persecution that was supposed to come, it is not just physical, it is spiritual. 
There is more spiritual warfare happening. And the church is sleeping. And it's time for us to wake up, fast and pray, and humble ourselves, brothers and sisters, as a prophet of repentance and holiness directed by love. God Almighty wants to set you free from your spiritual cages. Remember what he did to Joseph. Free, he was set from prison. Remember Jeremiah, free from the slammy well. Remember Meshach, Abednego, and Shadrach, free from the fire of furnace. Remember Daniel and the lion's den, free. Remember the children of Israel, free from slavery or bondages. Remember Paul, free from shipwreck. Remember all the men and women of God in the Bible that God said, he's still doing the same thing, still delivering it. Psalms 50 verse 15 says, Call upon me in the day of trouble, and I shall deliver you, you praise me. Brothers and sisters, the time to wake up is now. There is no other time. The time to wake up is now. Fast and pray. The war is in the spirit. What about your dreams? Is God telling you to wake up and pray for your family and to intercede? Are you interceding? God is waking you up this morning. Waking you up every day to go into prayer. If my people who are called by my name, who humble the heart, seek my face, and turn away from the wickedest ways, I, God, will hear them from heaven and heal the land. It is written. Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14. The word of God must go first. And the Bible says this. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1 verse 10, he said, I have appointed you over kingdoms and nations to overthrow, tear down, to uproot, to build and plan. We have authority and power. Jesus said it. The power I give to you to move mountains, that faith that is in you. What are your spiritual cages? You are you in the spiritual cages of pornography, immorality, lies and deception, limitation, poverty, sickness, disease? Is that your spiritual cage? Are you there in your spiritual cage? What cage are you in? Is it depression or stress? Is it demonized? Are you tormented? Are you afflicted? Are you restless? What is there? Jesus said the world will give us trouble, but take out for it, overcome the world. He that is in you is greater than who is out in the world. Remember that Jesus is there. The blood of Jesus breaks every chain. In the mighty name of Jesus. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Out in the mighty name of Jesus. Out. God must break every chain. I command every spiritual cages. Every dark cages be loose in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demonism, satanism, sinister, every power of mediums, every witchcraft in your family, every ancestry and generational curses be cursed in Jesus' name. Anything that is not of God, whatever my father has not planted, must be uprooted. Unclean spirit, wicked spirit, raging spirit, suicide spirit, sexual immorality spirit, division spirit, everything that is not of God, by the power of God, it is written in Habakkuk 3 verse 4, that the God of hand of God is power. I speak power, Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demonic power, fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Be broke loose, be broken loose. Get out of that spiritual cages. Come out of that spiritual cages. Come out, come out, come out of that spiritual cages. The hand of God is power. Come out of that spiritual cages. Come out now. Freedom, it is God's will. Not tomorrow, not in the past, now. I command every spiritual cages. The angels of the Lord are now coming. I see angels breaking spiritual bondages and cages, destroying wolves and lions, trampling over snakes and scorpions. You shall tread upon them. There's power in the blood of Jesus. Let no one fool you. Jesus loves you. And these chains were broken at the cross. He built a foundation and now we're building the house. We have power. We are partakers of divine nature. We are children of Abraham. Let no one lie to you, brothers. You are truly loved. Just continue to seek God in a relationship. Look at what God did to me. He raised a prisoner. Broke my chains and shackles. So I can praise and worship and magnify his name. He has consumed my heart. God has consumed my heart. That I will be able to seek him with all my heart. The Bible says, love God with all your heart, with all your mind. When you do that, you have no room for the world of things. Jesus loves you. He cares for you. While you're listening to this video, I pray the power of God's love to touch you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shalom.
Amen.